Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And in today's video, I just wanted to talk about LTEM and what it means to AT&T's network. So from the looks of it, the little bit of research that I've done so far, LTEM looks to be very similar to what Sprint calls HPUE. And as you can see, LTEM uses cellular network and extends coverage. So the orange line that you see is the current standard LTE and then the blue circle would be the LTEM. So it extends coverage. I think this would be very useful for AT&T's band 30 since it's a higher frequency. So a similar effect to band 41 on Sprint. This will take a nationwide deployment on AT&T's network in both the United States and in Mexico. The United States should be done by the second quarter and then the availability of it in Mexico by the end of this year. So this is a very good technology. Um, this will push out their higher frequency out further for customers to connect to in buildings. And then also it does lower device cost, longer battery life, better coverage underground and deep inside of buildings. So that definitely helps the consumer overall. And by now, I don't know if most of you guys know, AT&T's Band 30 deployment has now surpassed Sprint's Band 41 deployment. And Sprint started way ahead of AT&T. So on the square miles of LTE, Band 30 is now more largely deployed than Band 41. So now putting this to use, this will definitely help AT&T speed things up a bit. A little sooner than having to wait for you know small sales and extra micro sites so this is definitely good to hear from AT&T every little bit of improvement helps and this could definitely be added on a lot quickly uh, faster than small sales and tower sites and it's probably not going to cost AT&T that much money to roll it out so definitely just wanted to touch up on that in the next few days as I find out more I will drop more videos on this but I just wanted to make you guys aware that this is dropping this year in the network and that also Band 30 had, has surpassed Sprint's Band 41 deployment, which is, which is in essence, it's kind of sad that Sprint started way earlier with the Band 41 and AT&T started late and they surpassed Sprint. So definitely let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this. Will this LTEM really help AT&T or will it just boost their network just a little bit? I think it'll help it quite a bit, especially indoors where band 30 couldn't reach before. But definitely let me know in the comment section down below. Like, share, subscribe, give these videos a thumbs up. It keeps me motivated, keeps me going. This is Tyrone with Tech Life and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.